we go. Two inch quick drive for a Vantec. That's what we're using. These must be 40 feet long. You going snowmobiling today? I think so, bro. Look at <laughs> it out here. Hopefully not. <laughs> it's the wind, man. It's a that great wind. day to set trusses. Dude, that wind is just is a game changer. So our first task, let's get to work. We're going to lay out these uh, walls for the trusses. And the layout the starts here. Up a half hour late. Yeah. We're going to start the layout here. Uh, 19 two centers, because that's what the trust plan says. And let's look at the tape. 19 twos are right here, the diamonds, all the diamonds. So you don't have to figure out what 19.2 is. It's kind of pre-set on most tape measures. 19.2 inch centers is one less truss per eight feet than 16 inch centers, and one more truss per eight feet than 24 inch centers. All right, so I got my first truss set here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a nail here. That way I can hook my tape. I'll pull from there and then just set ahead on my 19.2s. Set ahead. Uh, plastic man. <laughs> Here's your pro tip of the day. I'm also checking our toilet location for the downstairs between the trusses to make sure it doesn't hit right on a truss because that won't work. So you can see I've got the stairwell truss here. I've marked over where the center of this toilet's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be way out here. And then there's the next truss, so we're clear and we can set the truss on layout here. Sometimes you gotta shift them just a little one way or the other to make sure your toilet drain is not right on a truss. That's probably good, Jay. They, they come off quite a bit. We got everything we need. We got the guys. Let's roll it. Thank you. Air gap, because that's not treated. So, good quarter inch. Fast. We could have actually stick frame this floor with some posts and a girder down the center, but these are free fan. It's all open downstairs, and literally this has taken 15 minutes to set half of the floor. I'm aligning my end of the truss with our wall face because the sheathing has to run continuously up over these truss ends, and we did straighten and brace this wall before we started doing that aligning because now basically this wall is braced to that wall so if we did it and we didn't straighten the wall first this whole thing would be crooked with no way to straighten it so i'm just siding down each one of these that it's flush on the face before i tack it so i'm just looking at the truss plans here and we don't even really need these stairwell walls now we just need to have some posts that hold up this girder. We don't need the whole wall. So we're just gonna hang the girder for a second, then stick some posts under it, and then we can finish all these trusses. Boom, we got some temp legs <laughs> under our beam and we can set some trusses. Yeah. So we're screwing these through the back on the first layer, then we'll add the second layer, then we'll add big hangers. It's just a little easier to be able to come right through the back, I think. That's the hanger. A lot of nails. Yo, Jones. Yo. What's that? This is an end truss and it has no triangulation. 
I'm gonna put a little weight on it and let you see what happens. You ready? Yep. See that? That's only spanning about 10 feet and that's gonna have a wall underneath of it later supporting it. Now, once you look at this other truss, that has got the triangulation and I'm jumping really hard on that. This thing spans 26 feet and it's completely rigid. So it just goes to show you how the geometry of how the engineer of these trusses makes them super strong. Everybody, stop working. It's lunchtime. Sweet. I don't have a lunch. Hey, you can have some of my hot sauce for lunch if you don't have any. I want to give a special thanks to our partner on today's video, Huberwood, the makers of Advantech subfloor flat out best for a quiet, stiff floor. We've actually been using Advantech subfloor on all of our projects for decades. Thanks again to Huber. Let's get to putting this stuff down. Let me show you why this layout board is a good idea. Here's how flimsy the trusses are out in the middle till you brace them off. Not good. You may be tempted to just line the edge of your plywood up with the edge of your house to keep it running straight, but I would never do that. We always snap a chalk line about four feet in. True that. We're gonna be gluing the subfloor down with Advantech subfloor adhesive, which is a polyurethane type adhesive. So it really adheres to even wet wood, which is awesome. We got the subfloor going down and I really like floor trusses because they're three and a half inches wide on top instead of just an inch and a half like a floor joist. Even Ray can hit it. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Now that we've got one row down intact, we're gonna go at it with this guy, our Makita Quick Drive. And this is basically a drill with a huge extension on it, has collated clips of screws you load into it. You can stand straight up and just joop, 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 screw this thing down super fast, easy on your back, so I'm gonna get to it. Vantech has all kinds of pre-marked layout on it. It has 24 inch centers in square, 19.2 inch centers in diamond, just like your tape measure, and 16 inch centers in round. So that makes it super easy to get this stuff put down. I hate to admit it, but these guys are actually getting way ahead of me. Which is not the usual. It's always the usual. <laughs> Did Jason just break that board? Yeah, I mean, he pretty much just touched it and <laughs> broke. Hey, take it easy on that board, all right, bud? I don't take it easy. That's not good. Where's Jason? Uh, he had to go to the emergency room. Serious? No, I'm kidding. He just went. <laughs> This one over there to get banded. This man's lucky. Could have taken his finger off. <laughs> Should we get a reenactment? What just happened? So what I was doing is I was hitting the board to knock the plywood in, but I just missed like this, and my finger hit my suspenders. They where all the blood's at, oh, and just yeah. ripped it right there. That'll do it. That sounds kind of self-inflicted. It's one way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the sledgehammer's fault. It's not weighted properly. <laughs>
Hey, it was a great day up on the mountain. We got our floor trusses set. We got our subfloor down. Now we're gonna head home. Thanks for building with us today and we'll see you next time. Thanks for building with us. <laughs>